Hey, but don't, don't forget, see, George Whitfield, um, Billy Sunday, they were Baptist in their heart. As uh, See, there's only one guy I know that's really straight on this. He's a professor at Southwestern Baptist Seminary. And if you want to get all the information, that's where you get it from. But uh, like he says, uh, see, Billy Sunday didn't know it, but he was a Baptist. <laughs> he didn't even know it, but he was a Baptist. See, uh, he was Presbyterian. But you see, again... See, he was a born-again Presbyterian. See, Billy Sunday would never say you have to be baptized to be saved. He would never baptize a baby. And by the way, most of the people he fellowshiped with and his song leaders and all of them, see, they were all Baptist people. And so, again, the only thing I can say about Billy Sunday, see, he was a Baptist, but he didn't even know it. And uh, he, But uh, he actually was a Presbyterian. But uh, again, see, he was like George Whitfield and those men. See, they certainly did not preach you're saved when you're baptized as a baby. They did not encourage that. See, they realized that uh, that is not the way you get saved. They preached the gospel as true and clear and plain, as strong as any Baptist preacher would preach it. And you just read the Sunday's, uh, sermons of Billy Sunday, and you see that very uh, obviously. But he always associated with the Bible-believing people of his day, and Wyona Lake, and most all those people were... Uh, Baptist or Baptistic in their belief. And he in no way would, uh, uh, I don't even think he'd believe in the Calvinism of the Presbyterian Church or the babies, anything like that. See, Billy Sunday would not go along with anything uh, like that. 